helping out a fellow captain today. We were heading out, he got to the inlet, and he was in front of us and uh, had a uh, water pump issue or something running hot in his engine. So we uh, turned around and helped him out. We're going to pull him back to the dock and then we're going to shoot down there and see what we can get into. Uh, it's always better to help when you can. All right, got him back, back to the dock safely. We're going to go fishing. And the good Lord, we were there. So it's good. Always good when you can help out anybody you can. And next time it might be me. Right, here we go.
big old hammerhead right on the water right here. Right on top. Look at that. Nice. Oh, there it goes. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it was a big old hammerhead. Probably at least an eight-footer. Pretty cool. I'm only going to film your good side, Darren. <laughs> Double up. Good job. That'll get the invite to dinner. Yeah, pretty bass. Oh yeah, let's keep it real. I'll get a picture for you. Yeah. Different species. Black sea bass. Pretty one too. Another big white grunt. Yeah, flip him off and put him in the basket. Okay. Yeah, it's all right. We're picking at him. Conditions are less than ideal, but a late start, but we're doing all right. That's for sure. So keep at it. Not easy. Still there? Yeah. A shark. Yep, yeah, looking like a shark. We got another shark. Okay. All those sharks too. Yeah. 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 They don't get very big. Uh, they're just, you know, just about big. They get a little bit bigger. I'm pretty big. Okay. Yeah. Probably something big for them. Um, that's why they like better to eat. Uh -huh. Put your hands inside. Hey, this is number three. Yeah. All right. Keep that rock tip up a little higher. Keep that right there about 35, 45 degrees. Keep the line. Yeah, we'll get some back and forth. He's coming to you. Keep your legs. Go back. Yeah, baby. Shit. See how he took him to the side like that? He was like turning to my gap. Nice. Yeah, yeah, that's the only hook that we had any. Oh, wow. Just like that. All right, put that in the wrong hook. Just like that. Yeah, here we go. That's a nice fish. Two, pretty good. All right. All right, put it in the spot right here. All right, next up, baby. Here we go. Water hose right here. Put your hands in that rag right there behind you. guys well it's been about four days since i've done any fishing i've been waiting on this little part right here so 
This is a uh, ECM. It's an ECM from PCM, <laughs> Pleasure Marine Craft. And uh, I've been waiting on it. I ordered it at Friday. Um, it was supposed to be here Saturday. Today's Tuesday. Thank the good Lord it finally came in. So I've been able to fish for like four days. As you saw, that we had to get, uh, get towed in on Wednesday last week. Uh, I thought it was a fuel pump issue. Well, turns out it wasn't a fuel pump issue. We believe it's a computer issue. So um, it's just not getting fired. We did a diagnosis report. Everything came back good. The only thing that we can uh, you know, narrow it down to is that the ECM was uh, burned up. So we've got a new one. We're going to put it in. And uh, Lord willing, that'll get us back up and running. Because everything else was working great. We tested the fuel pumps. We tested uh everything everything else came back normal it was just not getting fire so lord willing this will uh solve the issue so i'm going to go ahead and bolt this thing on and plug it in and we'll go from there uh but it's been four days since i've been able to fish and i got, got tons of people calling me trying to go fishing and having to move trips around we're going to try to get this thing installed right now and lord willing she'll fire right back up all right here we go It's like super hot out here. It's like, I guess it's like 113 with the heat index. Even though the wind is blowing like crazy, um, it's still pretty hot. But uh, we got that plugged in, it's pretty easy. It's pretty much the brains of the engine. It gives it the spark, everything it needs. Let's see. The only downfall to these LS engines is that it is computerized. And if that's not working right, then you know, you're know you dead in the water. It, but either way, we've got it replaced and uh, we're gonna uh, go ahead and uh, see if we can turn it over and see if she turns on. Lord willing, here we go. All right guys, well we've got to figure it out. We've got the ECM replaced, we've got the fuel pump replaced. Um, just did a test run here in Surf City, so we're looking good for tomorrow. Um, and hopefully we'll be able to get some trips in. It's super windy here this week. We'll see what we can do. Uh, we're gonna do the best we can with what we got, but it is really windy this week. So but guys, thanks for watching. We'll see you back out there. Have a blessed day.